Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a short video series on how to make a simple uh, space shooter game with a beginner scripting. So uh, let's get started. First, we need to uh, open up Unity. If you don't have Unity yet, you need to go to the website. And uh, make an account and download it to your computer. Uh, you go to Get Unity and just pick the free download. And then once you download it, so you open up Unity for the first time and you're going to get this screen. You need to type in a project name. So let's just call it. Um, star shooter and just leave it at 3D and uh, create project everything's going to have to load up alright and we're going to go to window asset store And type in uh, Droid Fighter. And let's go right here. And click download. I did not make this model. The publisher BSX Gangs did, so I credit him for making it. And you're going to ask to type in your Unity account. And now you can download it. And just make sure all of it is uh, selected. And click import. And that's all we're going to need for now. So go to your asset store tab and just right click and say close tab alright and you can see we have a uh, sky and all that in our game scene and we want it to be more of space so let's just go to our main camera right here in the hierarchy and let's go to Colleen mask under the camera, no, clear flags, where it says skybox, solid color, and let's change that color to black. Alright, for now, for now that will work. And now we have to go to this little file that says My Stuff and just click on it to rename it um, Spaceship. Droid Fighter Materials. Okay. Prefabs. So under the prefab is the actual model of the ship. So go ahead and drag the prefab. It has a blue uh, square icon. This is Droid Fighter. Just drag it into the scene. It looks great. But we are going to need to rotate this thing to make it look 2D. So go up to your Transform, Rotation, and rotate it on the Y axis to 90 degrees. And then on the Z axis, 
I think it's going to be negative 90. Awesome. And our ship's kind of huge at the moment. So let's uh, go to our scale. And let's just make it 0 0.4. 0 0.4 on Y. 0 0.4 on Y. And that's better. It's still kind of big. Let me try it out for a second. Yeah. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. 0 0.2. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 yeah. play it real quick yeah that'll be fine alrighty so we have a starship now we need to get this thing to fly and what we're gonna we're gonna do um, like a flappy bird style or you have to keep the thing uh, in the air. So to do that, we need to add a force to this object. And we have to use a rigid body, add component rigid body. And you'll see that it says you use gravity right here. And push play just to see if it works. Yep. And it is falling really fast. So let's change drag. I'll say 10 and push play. And you'll see that it kind of falls slowly. That's what we want. Now we need to make it so you can make him go up so you don't fall. So to do that, we need to go to Project, Create, Folder, and call it My Scripts. And then right click on my scripts, create C sharp script, and we'll call it move ship. And let's open this up. And we're going to create a function or method called uh, move my ship or let's call it move ship up to be more specific and we'll leave some code comments this will make the ship move up when the keyboard Or do I need it? Oh, hold on a second. The keyboard is used. Okay. And then in here, we need to do a if statement. If input dot get key key code. We're going to use B on the key, letter B, 